Hello everyone, and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. At the mansion, Johnny speaks with Sydney over the phone about EJ and Nicole's unborn child. Channel shows just as he hangs up, having just returned from seeing Lani, who is still scheduled for release at the end of the year. When she inquires about EJ and Nichols' nuptials, Johnny replies that everything went well, but that an awful event occurred the previous evening. After speaking with Rafe, EJ tells Nicole politely that he's at the hospital. Although Dimitri is still missing, EJ assures that his bastard nephew will face consequences. Nickel asks what difference that will make, staring off into space. At this point, nothing matters. My baby is no longer with us, and nothing will make him return. Sloane makes a phone call to Melinda from her residence. The baby sobbed all night, according to Melinda, but he's okay. Nickel is undoubtedly distraught of the pregnancy and Sloane knows it's all her fault. When Eric gets home, her eyes widen. She ends the call by telling him their son should arrive soon, but they don't know the precise date. He queries her statement that she was accountable for someone's destruction. According to Sloane, the birth mother is experiencing great guilt and is finding it difficult to give up her child. Eric reassures her that there is nothing to be ashamed about. The baby will have an amazing life from them. Harris asks Avo what occurred after discovering Gil at her apartment suffering from a gunshot wound to the chest. Panting, Ava declares, he's dead. Her rifle still aimed at her attacker. I took his life. Harris confirms he is dead by feeling for a pulse. He removes the gun from Ava and asks why Gil was there, noticing that this is the second body he has discovered in that flat. Holly arrives at the hospital carrying her favorite pizza, just as EJ is overly eager to cheer Nicole up. Nicole screams that she's not craving anything. EJ proposes Holly return at a later time. Nicole tells EJ that all she wants to do is go to bed after she leaves. She turns to her side and faces him, tears streaming down her cheeks. As he walks away, she sobs. Chanel proposes that she and Johnny prepare dinner for Nicole and EJ to take to the hospital after learning of their impending arrival. Johnny expresses gratitude to her for helping his family right away. She says he's essential to her. She's glad to do it then. That's one of the many reasons he loves her. Ava tells Harris, back at the flat, that Gil arrived to talk about work and then became physical with her. Harris asks if he attempted to assault her after noticing her torn blouse. Refusing to cry, Ava affirms that he did. She wonders what she did and becomes terrified. She sobs as Harris puts his arms around her. He wishes he had acted on his first suspicions that Gil was danger. Ava says, You have no idea, while fixating on Gil's body. Chad dashes to the hospital lobby as soon as he hears the news. He gives E.J. a hug. She is overjoyed to see him. While attempting to find the right words to console his distraught brother, Chad buys them coffee. Nickel won't be able to get through this, which worries E.J. He doesn't want to press, but he wants to support her. He is clueless about how to assist her. Chad informs him that after Abby passed away, he pushed everyone away because he didn't want to be lifted out of his grief. Nickel is acting in this manner. All E.J. has to do is wait for her and show up when she's ready. I hope E.J. is correct. Slum stops by Melinda and the baby in the hotel room while Eric goes to see Nicole. Melinda tries to ease Sloane's guilt by pointing her that Nicole still has her daughter. Later, as the baby is being held by an adoring Sloane, she expresses her gratitude to Melinda. Sloane is the only friend Melinda has had in a long time so that's why she says she did it. Sloan observes that Melinda is also her only friend. That at least one of them is achieving her goals makes Melinda happy. Sloan claims that she has all she could possibly want because of Melinda and the baby. Nickel questions Eric, a devout man, about the reason behind this incident when he visits her in the hospital. Why would God allow her to become pregnant only to take him away? There's no answer, according to Eric. All they need to do is trust that this is God's will. Reassuring her that she is not alone, he sits on her bed, 
In his arms, she sobs. Holly, upset, heads back to the mansion. She sobs at her exchange with Nicole and is embraced by Johnny. He reassures her that her actions with the pizza were kind and compassionate, as it is the nature of her character. Holly thanks him, sniffing. Without him, she doesn't know what she would do. Channel comes back and looks at them with suspicion. She breaks the two of them to ask Holly if she would want to assist them in getting dinner to Nicole and EJ. Johnny proposes they hold off on that thought for another day. Channel suggests teasingly that Holly has a crush on Johnny when the teen heads upstairs. Channel recognizes the look Holly was giving him as he scoffs. Johnny maintains that Holly views him simply as her brother and that she is more like his little sister. Holly wasn't really crushing on him, rather, it was his dad. Channel is not persuaded. Chad inquires about EJ's well-being in the hospital lobby. EJ acknowledges his problems. However, he isn't grieving because he hasn't yet come to terms with how cruel it was. The fact that his son lived and he was never able to meet him is heartbreaking. Chad experienced the same thing as Grace did. He can't help but feel that he would have felt somewhat comforted if he had had the opportunity to meet her, even for a few while. To hold his son in his arms and tell him he loves him, EJ would do anything. When EJ somberly enters Nicole's room again, she is in Eric's arms. After they split up, Eric sends his condolences. EJ is truly appreciative of him. Nicole begins to explain after Eric leaves, but EJ interrupts her. He tells her that if and when she needs him, he would be there for her as well. He acknowledges that he didn't call him last night since he didn't want consolation as he informs her about Chad's visit. Nicole says she is crying because she understands exactly what he means. She makes a grab for him. EJ hugs her close. When Eric gets back to Sloane, he reports that Nicole is obviously devastated. He has doubts about her ability to handle this one. Sloan informs him that Melinda was just seen. He needs to be aware of this. Ava concerns to Harris in the questioning chamber that no one would think she shot Gil in self-defense. He promises to show that she is being truthful. She must have faith in the justice system. That didn't exactly work out well for Gabby, as Ava points out. She is aware that EJ will use his position as DA to keep Gabby imprisoned indefinitely. And he knows he despises her even more. Beware of spoilers. It's me. Harris informs Ava that Gil's past drug-related charges may be advantageous to her case. After receiving a message from the CSI team, he heads over to Ava's apartment to see them. Ava receives a call from Statesville Prison on her phone as soon as he leaves. Additionally, Jen Lilly posted a montage of Instagram videos that included peaks of her time spent in Paris with Matthew Morrison. Viewers can expect a visual feast thanks to the captivating backdrop and amazing dancing performances. Additionally, Lily and Morrison demonstrate their dancing skills in a variety of dance forms, such as the waltz and cha-cha, developing a memorable on-screen relationship. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.